a very warm welcome to each and every one of us today i'm going to be teaching us how to make zobo for business use especially for those of us who want to venture into business and you have been wondering what business should you venture into today i am encouraging you that you should go into zobo business Zobo business will prosper you so very much. I taught a lot of people how to do Zobo business back in Nigeria and today they have prospered over the years through this Zobo business. You can do it at the comfort of your home. It doesn't matter if you have a shop or not. Today I will show you how you can do this and prosper at the comfort of your home. Stay tuned and enjoy this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making Avestus flower drink, Zobo drink. You all know it's summer and very hot. So I've gone ahead to clean this Zobo leaf nicely. So we are going to wash this now. Our water is boiling already in the pot. So all you need to do is to make sure you clean it up nicely because sometimes you will see some stones in it and all manner of dirt. As you can see, this has been nicely cleaned. I've gone ahead to clean this very well. So all I want to do now is wash it and throw it in the pot. I'm going to be using pineapple and that is what we are using for this recipe. Pineapple all through. So I'll wash this now and throw it in the pot. Stay tuned. So here I have my pot. I'm making a large quantity. So here I have my water. This is the second one. Zobo, you have to make sure your water is boiling like this as you can see you want to make sure your water have started boiling before you add your zobo i'm going to add my zobo right away so guys this is a quick tip always allow your water to boil nicely before you add your zobo leaf that way it will not waste time cooking you need 25 to 30 minutes to get this ready it doesn't waste time i'm going to be adding cloves the hibiscus flower is a very healthy flower the leaf too is very healthy and very medicinal it's always very good for you i would suggest this instead of soda so I, i've washed all my pineapples i'll be using six pineapples to make these both recipes so i've washed all of them this is just the remaining one yeah Just start cutting it so I can add this skin into the Zobo. So cut the fan out of this way. Be generous with it because you know it's going to go into the Zobo and you don't want your Zobo not to taste good. Pineapple is always very encouraging in your Zobo recipe. It is a must. I prefer to use natural ingredients than to use all this, um, uh, you know, bottled, you know, um, sweetening and all that. I rather use enough pineapple instead of using all this bottled sweetening and so on on my fruits recipes, you know like my drink recipes and so on i like to use fruits and vegetables because that way i'm sure what is going into the drink or the food so even in nigeria back in the in the days when i make my double recipes people like to order from me i make strawberry drinks i make banana drinks i make watermelon drinks and they have different gallons for it and a lot of people order from me because they know banana drink is banana drink pineapple drink is pineapple drink zobo drink is zobo drink you know bichu drink is bichu drink carrot drink is carrot drink all of those drinks i make back then in nigeria and good drinks when i say good drinks i mean good drinks and i taught a lot of women how to do this it was always very very good so i encourage you to do all these things i'm going to show you a lot of these drinks and how you can get them done at the comfort of your home and yeah you can make money out of it 
these things can put food on your table trust me a lot of women has been blessed through all of these things that i i taught them you know that will be a sit down video on a very good day and then i'll tell you how god has helped a lot of women you know through my ministry of cooking it's a ministry it's not just uh, a hobby it's a ministry because a lot of women has been taught through uh, my my teaching i go to churches to teach women i people invite me back in the days to teach women you know i had a lot of women program where i was teaching women how to do so many things spring rolls samosa and so on you know so we are going to do a lot on this channel it's all about time and chance i'll do what i will do but hopefully we are going to do so much more stay tuned and enjoy this video so here is our pineapple all of this will be going into our zobo zobo is going to come the zobo is going to come out very very delicious because of this pineapple, it's a lot. We want a very delicious zobo. So I'll get it in. So all we're going to be doing is to blend the whole of those pineapple into this zobo drink. And you get a very delicious zobo. It should go in by the time it has cooled down very well. Here is ginger, guys. I'm going to clean this in. For this recipe, I'm not going to be adding too much ginger or too much cloves because they have requested... That they do not want a lot of ginger and a lot of cloves add your ginger whatever quantity you like to add i'm going to clean this i'll clean it nicely so guys here are the gingers i'm going to chop them into little bit sizes and blend i'm going to blend guys add your ginger at this point stay it up together it will infuse a lot of delicious taste. The aroma is very intense with all that pineapple. Oh, guys, it smells so amazing in my kitchen. Guys, woo, this over is so good. So, so good. See? See the thickness. Oh, wow. This over is so, so good. Cover it up and allow it to cook more. This one is cooking nicely. Wow. This one is almost ready just give everything about 30 minutes and see what the result is going to be mm. by the time you add your blended pineapple mm. hmm, the zobo will go to harvard i'm making every ingredient for this zobo mile because this is for the americans they have requested for this avestus flower drink so i'm making all the ingredients mile if you can see I didn't add so much cloves. I didn't add so much ginger because they don't want so much. They just want enough pineapples, but little of cloves, little of ginger. So that's why you see me adding a little bit of ginger, a little bit of cloves. I think this burner cook faster than this. That's what it is. Because we actually put this water at the same time. You can see this one is... Is coming up this one is coming up this one is cooked this one is coming up so we're going to let this one cook it has to come to a proper boil yeah it has to come to a proper boil before you begin to sift it by the time it cook nicely and come to a proper boil you allow it to cool up before you start draining all the chaff separate it from it and then you have your zubo drink stay tuned several hours later let's see our zobo guys yeah our zobo is nicely done and it has cooled down i have to sift them now and then we're ready so let's see the next spot this is the next spot of our zobo this is it i'm going to sift it like i said so stay tuned which is firm i want to say a very huge thank you to each and every one of us if you have watched this video to this moment and you have not clicked on the like button please do me a favor 
I really need that like button because it's going to help me on this channel. It's going to help me to grow. It's going to help me to have some scores so I can be able to earn a little bit. Thank, thank you to each and every one of you that have been supporting me on this channel. Every one of you who have been, you know, pushing my videos up there. I'm so grateful. And this is why I keep doing what I'm doing even when I have challenges. Even when I'm sick, even when I'm down, even when, you know, I have things that uh, could make me go out of the space for a while. I still want to do something. This is because I know all of you want to see what I want to pull out. And I try to create beautiful contents in my own little capacity. And all of you come back to watch me. I'm so privileged to have all of you on my channel. And I pray that God will continue to reward each and every one of you. Bless you and grant you all the beautiful desires of your hearts. Who are mine that you come back to watch me. I am so grateful. Creating these contents are not easy at all. Shalim for us who cooks very big pots of food. Most of the time I cook big pots. This is for a lot of people who want to learn how to do business and then you know they want to cook in large quantities sometimes i do smaller quantities yeah you can always get anything you want on my channel please do me a favor always click on the like button i mean if you can just say words if you can comment you can as well click on that button it's not going to cost you so much i will really do appreciate it Thank you all so very much. So here I am stirring up my sobo because it has cooled down because I had to allow it to cool down and it has cooked very nicely. So here I want to stir everything up so every ingredient I added can come together. They can get to know each other if you understand what I mean. So in a minute I'm going to sieve this and I'll show you how I want to sieve it. So this is the next spot I'm going to stir it up together i'll stir it up nicely and then i'm going to sift it as well okay yeah i have a lot of zobo recipes you can go check my channel this is an order from some of my american uh clients okay so here is this zobo can you see how thick it is make sure you don't over water it so that it doesn't get so uh, light. It has to be as thick and beautiful as this. Can you see the consistency? Sometimes some people like it lighter, but they will have to do that themselves. But I like to have my Zobo very, very red so that it can do the work because it has a work that it does in your body. So I'm going to see this right away. So to see your Zobo, you need something like this. I'll show you another thing you need. The next thing you need is this. So this one has been working in my kitchen forever. <laughs> you can see how it is. Don't mind it looking like this. It's doing a lot of work. That's why I've not trashed it because, I mean, it's doing a lot of work for me in this kitchen. You know, it's old school. You know, so I'm going to use I'm going to use this right away to bring out those chaffs and pour it here. Okay. That's what I'm going to be doing now. So all you want to do is to bring out the chaff like this, but make sure you're doing it gently. So I'll bring it out like this. I'll let the water drain up for a couple of minutes. Just like this. You can see the water draining out. See what I mean? Let the water drain out for a couple of minutes. Yeah. This is for you if you want to do business with Zobo. You have to be very, very careful with the things you use. You really have to be careful because you don't want people to drink and have a running stomach. So you must make sure all your gadgets are very clean. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add it in this one. I'll add it here. Can you see? So it will still drop some more then i'll show you the final safe i'm going to be using stay tuned i'll do this behind the camera and i just want to show you this so guys this is what i'm going to be 
storing it in it has to come out with a good presentation you know i have one one gallon jar here and that is what i'm going to be adding them in we are doing five gallons you by the time i'm done so here i'm done sifting my zobo you can sift it with um a good sieve make sure there's no chaff in it or you use the akamu cloth if you understand what i mean that very ninen for akamu for pa you can use it to sift it and make sure there is no single chaff in it and then you store it wherever you want to store it so this one is settled i'm going to go ahead and store it in the jar add sugar as much as they want for me i don't really like so much sugar but this american family they love sugar they told me they want a lot of sugar in it so i'm going to do it exactly how they want it you can decide to add sugar you can decide not to add sugar like i said i don't eat too much sugar that's what i mean you can use this cloth you can use this to sift your akam so you can always use it to sift your zobo especially because it is for clients you don't want to make zobo and there is chaff in it so this will get out the chaff completely so you can use this kind of sieve also to sieve your zobo i have this one ready in my glass jar and it's so delicious we already started drinking try this i'm sure you will love 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 it try it and let me know in the comment section that pineapple in it made it came out well so guys i'm mixing sugar in because they asked for sugar like i told you all you can decide not to add sugar i'm going to add sugar i'm going to add a little pinch of salt to reduce the little it will reduce the sugar a little bit so yeah so for me to be on the safe side i'm going to i'm going to put it on the stove so that the taste can come out very well. So I went ahead to make some sugar syrup, which so I will add in, in the jars. Add your sugar, stir, stir it up nicely. That way you can have a taste and see if it's okay. Add sugar as much as you want to add sugar. Zobo is a healthy drink for me. I don't like too much sugar. If it were to be me, I will add pineapples, more pineapples, more of a lot of fruits and vegetables yes sometimes i even add cranberries strawberries blueberries raspberries yeah i have that on my channel you can still go and watch it so you mix 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 we are adding more sugar it's about seven cups of sugar the lady said i should know that americans eat sugar when she was talking to me she was saying are you going to make it the Nigerian way or the American way? I said the Nigerian way. She, she, she said no. She wants sugar because this is America. I said yes ma'am. I will add sugar the American way ma'am. This is good. This Obo is so good. Right? Yes. So, so rich. So, so rich. In color, in everything. So rich. Wow, this is good. Mmm, this is so good. You have to stir it up until it is all well incorporated. Don't let sugar settle on the down of the pot. Okay? This is very delicious, guys. Try it, I'm sure you will love it. So guys, this is um, sugar syrup, guys. Because you know, this is American Zobo we are making. This one now, not the African Zobo. This is American Zobo I'm making. I have to make it the American way so that they can enjoy the way they ask me to do it. So this is uh, sugar syrup. Remember I've added sugar to the pot? Remember I've added so much sugar there already? So I'm making syrup now. I am, I am now making syrup. This is sugar syrup. This is sugar syrup. I'm going to add it in the jars. One after the other, I'll show you what I'm doing. Make sure the jar have enough sugar before I add this one's in. This is America. You have to do what they want. See how you did it good. 
So guys, I'll start from this. This is the syrup. I'm making three gallon zobo and I'm making two jars of pineapple drinks. So this three goes for the habis habistus flower drink. I was looking for gallon all through yesterday, but I didn't get gallon. The ones I have was all gone. I bought this each seven dollars because it was six ninety something, right? So it's quite expensive for me. I'm actually not making so much. Okay, I'm fine. I mean, that will give my drink an awesome presentation. I know when they come, they might want to bless me for making them this deliciousness but yeah it's okay so if you want to do business don't use things like this okay even though it's very good for presentation's sake but it will not help you to make profit you won't make profit enough but because they order for other things so i can always give them this i don't mind So guys, you can do this in the house and make some change for your family. Make some money, not some change. You can do this and make some money, yeah. I taught a lot of women how to make Zobo in Nigeria and a lot of them were using it to survive. I have a, a lady that worked for me. At a point, her husband had some challenges. I have to teach her how to make Zobo. I taught so many women in my church how to make Zobo and yeah. Today, they are using that Zobo to survive. And I'm sure a lot of them by now, God has done so much in their life. So, don't overlook things like this. You can always use this to prosper. The Bible says, whatever you find your hand doing, that God shall prosper it. So, that's one thing. I want to encourage you. Go ahead and do this. You will love it. Your children will love it. Your family will love it. So mix everything in and you see how delicious and you see how delicious is looking very rich in color very rich in everything it's so rich guys so rich so guys I'll be showing you the pineapple drink in another video thank you